Hi, and welcome to Three Questions with come my friend Steve Lobby with us today from Paradigm Plumbing. Hey, Steve, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Kevin. I really appreciate it. So we're going to talk a little bit about drains today. So let's talk a little bit about what happens on drain calls. What type of equipment are you using for these types of emergency drain calls? Well, it all depends on, you know, what the customer's experiencing. You know, sometimes it's just a, a backup at a toilet or it could be a backup at a main drain. Um, and sometimes they know, like, uh, they might have trees and they might have roots. So we might be dealing with that or grease or it all depends. There's so many different uh, things that can go wrong in a drain by putting the wrong things in. So this really seems like something you have to have experience with dealing, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, you know, one of the things that makes us a really great drain cleaning company is that we're licensed plumbers. So we, we know how the pipes are in the walls and in the floors or the way they should be. And for the most part, when you understand Y fittings and TYs and, you know, house traps and backwater valves and all these different plumbing uh, fittings, that helps us to determine what head on the snake we want to use or do we want to jet rod this strain or do we want to put a cutting uh, head on if there's roots so steve i might regret asking this question <laughs> <laughs> what, what's some of the craziest things you found in a drain oh man you you don't even know how to know like well i mean basic stuff is like kids like to play in the in the water right so they they flush their toys down there so we found toys you know you find clothing like people want to dispose of clothing so maybe it's a public application and uh they they flush a shirt or underwear or something down the toilet so we've we've pulled that out um one time in a construction job they put a pipe within a pipe and we found that through a camera so it was an actual three inch cast iron pipe that was sleeved into a four inch. And I'm telling you, that was a real tricky one till we put the camera and then we saw it and we actually had to jackhammer up the floor to get, to get the pipe with it pipe out. <laughs> that is, that is kind of crazy. So yeah. Steve, now on the drain business, um, what's your territory? How far can you go? What, are you both in Mass and New Hampshire on this? Yes. Yep. Yep. And that's the other thing too. I mean, there aren't a lot of codes that are requiring you to have um, licenses. And I think that that's where some of this gets into where people's caliber of play is a little bit different. You know, I mean, we, we're licensed plumbers. So of course we have a little bit of an advantage and an edge over, you know, someone who just has a $10 an hour guy in a truck and, you know, we're going to, we're going to clean this drain. We're going to use this, uh, a sack and we're going to blow through the drain or, you know, they have limited equipment like Home Depot stuff. You know, now what, one extra question, maybe two extra questions today. Now I've heard that you got to be careful about trying to use stuff you can buy in the store and dump it in the drain. That could be really bad. Is that true? Yeah, it, it is really true. I mean, some of this stuff will actually work. I won't, I won't say that it won't. But what happens is these chemicals are really, really bad for us. When we go down there and we put our drain equipment down there's going to be splash back you know we could get it in our eyes on our clothes on our hands so that's when it becomes a, a problem like they have like a super duper clobber you know i mean you got clobber that's going through there you've got some other uh items that people get a hold of to to use on the drains and that's what that's what makes it really uh kind of a dangerous situation after the fact not really during the fact, uh, although it's not good for the environment, and, you know, we're all waving the environmental flag, right? Like mm -hmm. talk to some politicians today. That's their platform. <laughs> yeah, so true though. So Steve, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more, bud? Um, I mean, our website's good, pretty informative, you know, um, at paradigmph.com. Um, but, you know, we're, we're always available for a conversation, no matter what. I mean, I love talking. Look at this. Talking's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Steve, I really, so let's grab your number. What's the office number if people want to call? Um, it's 603-641-6400. And if they hit extension one, they will get to our dispatch. If it's after hours, they hit nine after they ring in and they get our emergency service, 24 hour on-call service. Awesome. Steve, I really appreciate taking a few minutes to call into the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Hey, I'm super psyched. Best of friends to you, brother. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, bud. Okay, take care.